Let's brush up on the basics of perspective. How do I place my vanishing points? What are all of these sciencey looking lines? Well, let me tell you. First things first, you establish your eye level, cone of vision, and your standing point. The horizon is your eye level. From your line of sight, we limit the field of view to 60 degrees in the shape of a cone, the cone of vision. The cone of vision moves with our line of sight, but for here, the line of sight and the center vanishing point are the same on the horizon, so we're in two-point perspective, not three, for this example. Here's where things get cool. From the diameter of your cone of vision, trace back to find your standing point, that 60-degree angle. Your standing point keeps you on point to find any vanishing point, regardless of rotation. From here, we're going to start drawing our cube. Why a cube? Because a cube is a series of 90 degree angles and 90 degree angles are your hack to drawing anything in perspective well. So boom, first vanishing point. Easy peasy, queso cheesy. Okie dokie, yummy gnocchi. Suzy Q, baby, I love you. Moving on. Now we're going to Jedi the second vanishing point using all the information that we have so far. Connect vanishing point number one down to the standing point. 90 degrees off of that line from your standing point, you have the key to vanishing point number two. And voila. There you have it, everything you need to use perspective like a champ. Accurate perspective points and a cone of vision that keeps you from getting things too distorted. It only gets better from here, so be sure to click and subscribe and I will see you soon. My name's Liam, helping you become the artist that you want to be. Okay, bye.